In 2014, Prince Harry launched the Invictus Games, and 10 years later, the Passion Project continues to be celebrated by dignitaries and even critics. Although Harry was able to continue the sporting event after leaving the British monarchy, one expert speculated that his brother, Prince William, it envious of the organization's popularity. It's been very successful since its outset, Robert Jobson said in Prince Harry's mission, Life, Family, and Invictus Games. It doesn't come cheap, it costs a lot of money, and Harry has been able to continue to raise that money throughout this period, which is impressive. But I think there was a degree of jealousy about how well it had gone, he added. I do think that William was surprised how much this had been such a success and how much money was being thrown into it and how many governments were getting involved. The Duke of Sussex and the Prince of Wales relationship was greatly impacted by the release of Spare, as Harry painted the future king as ill-tempered and violent. Harry wrote in Spare that his sibling appeared supremely irritated when he first learned about the Invictus Games. I covered my eyes with my hands. Had we not gotten over that? All of that stuff about the heir versus the replacement? Were we not a bit too old for that tiring, childlike dynamic? The actual co-founder penned. He was married and had a baby on the way, Harry continued. Meanwhile, I would order food alone and do my dishes in front of the sink. My father's sink? I still lived with my dad, King Charles III. The game is over, man. You win. Okay, previously reported Harry spoke to Good Morning America during his trip to Canada to promote the 2025 Vancouver Games, but journalist Will Reef didn't hesitate to ask the redhead about King Charles' recent cancer diagnosis. I think that Harry seemed caught off guard by some of the questions and tried to stay positive, but wrap it all back when it comes to the Invictus Games, American royal commentator Kinsey Schofield said on Talk TV. I think he was nice about his family, and he was positive about his family, but I don't think that this is moving us in any specific direction when it comes to reconciliation," the podcaster added. Author Judy James noticed Harry's mannerisms during the television appearance. Is Harry poised to drop everything and return to the UK to help out while his father is unwell? His body language during this interview seems to suggest that he would very much like to imply that, if that doesn't happen, it will not be his fault, James told an outlet. Harry's gestures make him seem keen to play down any idea of a rift, with some disingenuous looking shrugs as he announces I love my family, as though the past few years of bitterness had just been airbrushed from history, James added.